Following our visit to Aaron and Shiskin, we headed off to catch another ferry, which brings us back to the mainland. Well, kind of. With Aaron still visible in the backdrop, we made our way down the long and winding road and headed for the Mullican Tyre. And don't worry, I'm not about to break into song. Right, welcome back. It is day three and uh, we're not quite on another island. Yes, we did take a ferry crossing, but we're at Macrahanis Dunes, which is on the southern tip of the Mullican Tyre. Um, we've just played the first hole. I've just played the first hole. We've stuck one pretty close and the green looked fairly flat from back there. But trust me, having got near it, there's some fun positions they can have with pins. And it'd be interesting to see where they stick a few of them in the holes to come. Right, can we start with birdie? Bit of movement still in this one. Come on, let's get the day off to a flyer. That's atrocious. Hard luck and part it is. Right, already my words have come back to haunt me in terms of pin positions. I've come through the back on number two and uh, when we pan around shortly, you'll see I'm in a nightmare position having gone long. 10 foot short of this flag is, uh, is a bit of a ski slope. Let's see if we can get it there. Well, this could be good. Could be good. Just get down the brow. Oh, I'll take that any day. Sit there. Hopefully you picked it up from, the, uh, from that camera that we've got up top. But literally from here on in, the ball just rolls away. And we've left a fiddly one for a four, to say the least. There's 10 foot left in that. Oh! Kevin Nard after that. Right, on the fourth hole and it is a reach for the course planner. I've just walked up to the tee box and all I can see is a marker. It's 216 yard par four, um, which is pretty much unheard of. And I like the idea of that long, narrow green. I think we're gonna go with something like just a six iron off the tee and see if we can find position, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well you just see me miss for birdie from fairly close and I'm glad I put it close because if you come long on this green in this position when you're walking off the back I've just had a look at it and this to me is one of the most severe double breaks I've ever seen let's see what this does right down this slope up that slope come on go in go in Go in. I'll tell you what, that's an incredible effort. Do you think that will get anywhere near to being a, uh, a, a tap in for a par? Right, fifth old classic little par three. Tiny little green, pot bunker left. Looks as though it's sloping from right to left, gathering in that bunker, and I can hear the waves crashing just over the dunes. This is just perfect. Right, let's see if we can get a golf shot to match. It should be right side of the green, I think. Just a, maybe a little bit more right than I want it to be. Kick and kick. Come down that slope. Come down the slope. Oh, I don't know whether you can see that when you pick it up. Pitch right side, 
played it exactly as I call it, which is a rarity. And I think we've got about 10, 12 foot. Oh, do you know what? I don't know what this beach is called, but what I do know is it's absolutely stunning. How nice is that? I wish I brought my surfboard with me. At least my speedos. I seem to be talking about the same things, and it is the complexity of the greens, and also make sure you miss them on the right side, because I've missed it on the wrong side of this one on seven. Come up a little bit short. The undulations are like waves that match the sea in the background there. But I've literally got no shot whatsoever that I am uh, now trying to execute. Is it grip? Oh, do you know what? I've played an absolute worldie. I think with the pressure of the camera, it does definitely concentrate the mind. Look at this. I mean, I could not have played. I could have another 10 goes at that and I would not get that any closer. David McClay Kidd has taken a piece of land and sculpted a course with minimal impact on the original landscape, creating something quite special. Well, we've had an incredible three days in terms of how good the weather has been. Two islands, Aran and Cumbrae, this one, a little bit of a ferry trip over to uh, the southerly point of Mullican Tyre. So we're still on the mainland in theory, but it feels very isolated down here. I just wanted to say how sort of easy it is to make those sort of ferry crossings. Um, each one of them very well organized. You're in and you're off at the other end. And then the drive to wherever you're going has not been too far either. And plenty of golf on the way and well worth the effort uh, to make those journeys. Because as I said, I think in episode one, it's about a kind of like, uh, there's an excitement around it. It's, uh, it's a whole journey, a whole experience. The golf is a part of that. And it brings you to these amazing locations that you would not ordinarily come to. And when you look at things like that, it's, uh, it blows your mind. We're going over to that island uh, very soon. That's our next trip, if anyone can guess where that is. Another bit of, uh, missed it in the wrong spot, didn't go into the bunker, which I think is a bonus, but we're going over the Himalayas here. Creativity required, right. It's too far, isn't it? Swing round, swing round, swing round. I'm so happy with that, you know. My short game's been on fire today. I don't know whether you're allowed to uh, applaud your own shots, are you? That's a bit... I sum up and down that. I love the greens. Do you know what? It's always, I think, difficult to pass judgments on greens and how good or bad they are, because I think a lot of the time it's how well you put. And uh, today I have hold quite a number of puts, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, I don't know, but I've got to say the, the, the roll in terms of how true the roll has been has been superb. They're pacey. The movement is significant. I mean, the one that I've just hold there at a left to right downhill, if it doesn't hit the cup, then you're away and gone. But they've been absolutely superb. Cannot fault the green. Brilliant. The thing about holes that are built into the dunes and when you get to see the sea, I just think it's incredible. I love the sound of waves when I play golf, but this tee position on 15 is absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, I'm playing a little bit blind. We've got a black and white marker that uh, I'm hoping to get over with this five wood. I caught it a little heavy, but it's straight. So that should be okay.
Well, taking the seat on the side of the 17th tee is the perfect place to end this one. There's two signs when you walk up the, uh, the pathway leading to the tee. The name of the hole is Rest and Be Thankful, and there's another uh, reminder to be careful in terms of blind shots. And the two things that I'll reference before I go any further, I always feel like if we're gonna do these reviews, then it's important that I relay some information to you because you may watch these and think, I'm gonna follow in Andy's footsteps and play these courses. And the first thing I would say is yes, do so. It's a fantastic golf course, really enjoyed it. Strong reference towards the, uh, the green complexes I think have been superb. It's very demanding off the tee. And that blind shot element, there are a few uh, blind shots that you're gonna be asked to play. And the second thing is rest and be thankful. It's a bit of a walk, it's a long, long course. And I think, again, I've enjoyed it, not been an issue for me on a personal level, but if that is something that would put you off, then uh, like I say, important that I relay that information. But it's been in excellent condition. You can see it's very much burnt out in terms of the weather. Guy in the clubhouse said, never seen it in this condition before. And with three courses we've played so far on this trip have all been the same almost white the fairways and they're fiery and firm. I love the look of that and it's played really well. You've got these amazing scenic backdrops on virtually everywhere you play uh, and the fact that for us today the sun has been shining well obviously that makes it all the more picturesque. It's been a fantastic trip so far. This edition Macarana Stews was a good one and then we travel on again tomorrow as we continue our episode four of Ferry Golf. So don't forget to join us next Sunday, 6.30, and see what the final leg of the tour is. And believe me, it's a special ending.